Hello and welcome back everybody. As always, I'm the Gator and you're my Gator Knights. I was just watching iDub's most recent video and there's just a couple things I'd like to say uh, in regard to the stuff he said in his video. Uh, nothing to do with the boxing per se, but some other stuff that he said. So towards the beginning of the video, he uh, comes out, he starts saying something about how uh, he feels like he's done a lot of bad over the years and uh, on his channel and maybe that he's hurt people, something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. And uh, I couldn't help but think a little bit about myself and my channel. As you guys know, uh, I got roasted twice by him back in the day. So, and I had the most intense amount of hate. Back before they took away the dislike button, or well, showing the dislike number, I had, I, I'd be willing to bet the highest percent of dislike to likes out of any other YouTube channel out there. But I also want to say, iDubs, you, you kind of stopped doing a lot of that stuff years ago at this point. And I know I was 28 when you roasted me, and at the time, I, I didn't hold any aggression. One, because it was funny, and two, it was because it kind of put me on the map. But the other reason why is because you're a kid. You were a kid, man. What were you, like 20, 21, 22 maybe? I don't care what anybody says, that's a child. It's a freaking child, man. I mean, I'm 36 now, and uh, if anything, I just, I look at people that young even more like their children. So there's a bit of innocence there, you know? And another thing that he says is something about how uh, he, he's always tried to avoid talking about his, like, like being real, you know, talking about his personal life uh, or, you know, showing his real emotions or something like that. Uh, he kind of alludes to, and he said something about how that's for vloggers. Well, I, I want to tell you, man, I, I'm not a, I'm not a vlogger or a blogger, either one, but I have definitely talked about an insane amount of my personal life with my fans, whether it's been on live streams and videos or whatever it may be. And uh, I, know, I know it sounds funny to say I'm not a vlogger and I just put out bad car vlogs recently. Yeah, whatever. I guess I do vlog a little bit. But either way, you're a human being. And people are clearly not seeing that. And it's kind of sickening. It, honestly, it makes me kind of sad for people and for you. Then there's this whole like scent business or whatever because of his, uh, his girlfriend or wife or significant other and uh, him being okay with whatever she's doing in life. People don't understand what it's like to be in real relationships because so many people have never experienced such a thing. To have a true partner, a, a, a true uh, spouse, a true friend, a true uh, person that will die for you, that will do anything for you. They just don't understand that kind of relationship. I've been with my wife. This We met when we were 18. We're 36 now. We're coming up on being together 18 years been married for over 16 years and sh she's my partner she's everything to me so it, it, if you want to call me a simp then sure i'll be a simp i'll fucking wear a simp shirt i don't give a shit it's just a fucking word people made up so i, I just don't give a shit but it's a little fucked up that all these so-called fans you once had are sitting there turning on you and acting like this because a bunch of sexist bullshit fucking people are out there giving you shit like it's fucking embarrassing really now, I don't know. I know everyone's probably just going to uh, look at this as uh, me milking the old iDubs titties once again. It's been a couple years, right? And maybe it is. Maybe it is a little bit, but it's also genuine. It's also from my heart, and I do mean all of this. iDubs, there's nothing for me to forgive you for, period. Uh, as far as everybody else, I mean, maybe you did hurt some people. Maybe, you know, you, you fucked up some of their plans of what they were doing or whatever. But at the end of the day, you were a kid, man. You got you to gotta let that shit go. You can't hold that, hold on to that stuff. It's about what you do today and going forward. It's always about what you do today and going forward. The past is the past, man. There's no going backwards, so let it go. You know, uh, I don't know that you're holding resentment, but just the way you were saying in the video, felt a little bit like you might be, and it, you have no reason to, dude. Well, that's it, guys. I just felt like I, I, I had to say something. I definitely wanted to say something, so uh, that's what I did. Uh, thank you for joining in, and as always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace.